Welcome to our Tech Troubleshooting Series. Today we're tackling a perplexing issue that many users encounter when working with local sites. One of our viewers is facing an invalid issuer error in Chrome on Mac OS, despite having imported and trusted the root CA certificate. Interestingly, the same certificate works perfectly in Firefox. So what could be causing this discrepancy? Let's dive in and find out. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. The invalid issuer error in Chrome typically indicates that the browser does not trust the certificate authority that issued your SSL certificate. Let's explore why this might be happening. First, ensure that the root CA certificate is correctly installed and trusted in your system's keychain. You can check this by opening the Keychain Access application on your Mac. Next, confirm that the server certificate is correctly signed by the root CA. If the server certificate is self-signed or not properly linked to the root CA, Chrome will still show the invalid issuer error. Additionally, Chrome may cache SSL certificates. To clear this cache, you can try restarting Chrome or using the Clear Browsing Data option in the settings. Finally, if the issue persists, consider checking for any Chrome-specific settings or extensions that might interfere with SSL verification. Disabling them temporarily can help identify the problem. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're facing an SSL issue on Mac OS due to an invalid certificate issuer, try removing the name constraints property from the root certificate. This has worked for some users. While it seems you may not be using name constraints based on your screenshots, this solution could still be helpful for others experiencing similar issues. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.